Well, welcome ever, um, welcome back, everybody. It is Wednesday evening, and I think this is episode number 26. Uh, uh, after everything shut down, we decided this would be a great idea to uh, bring you some hymns of encouragement, and we call this Hymn Sing. And thank you so much to you who have been watching the entire time. We built quite an audience around the state and the country. And we thank you for, uh, for doing this every week and joining us. And we encourage you each and every week to worship with us. So if you know these songs, uh, or just hum along, even if you don't know all the words, worship with us. Use this at a time to worship God. And uh, in the Bible, it does tell us to worship God with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So we do that. We do primarily some of the older hymns, but we've added some of the worship choruses now. And the ones, I believe, have really solid lyrics and, and really help us get closer to God. So I'm going to ask you to join me in just a moment. We're going to start with a real favorite and one that we've done before. But I know the message of this song, even though it's upbeat and fun, it says a lot. Because in the middle of all that we're going through, we can learn to lean on his everlasting arms. Sing this with me. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting Continue with another group. Great 
song had a new chorus but had all the verses that you know and then we ended with that familiar great is thy faithfulness chorus this this next song is a brand new chorus that was written probably a year or so ago one we found and use here at Riverbend now quite a bit and I love it not only for its melodic content but the lyrics are so powerful you know no matter what we're going through and right now the whole world's going through sort of chaos and and uh, 
we're all trying to refigure out how to do life with the COVID virus and all the racial tension, all the things that are going on. It seems like, you know, that it, it's an unusual time in history. We'll always remember this 2020 year. I know that. <laughs> and I know we'll get through it. But, you know, if we'll take a moment, in fact, right now, I just want you to take a moment, shut your eyes wherever you are. And I want you to, you know, it's, we can easily get wrapped up in the negative that's going on and all the bad stuff and this and that and this and that. But if we really, really think about it, God is really good to us. And he's right there with us. And I want you to just take a moment. Sometimes I have to do this. I have to discipline myself to just say, God, thank you for. God, thank you for this. Thank you for that. It means different in everyone's life. I just thank God for my health. I haven't been affected by this COVID virus, and so many have. So many people have lost their lives. But think of something you're thankful for tonight and say, God, thank you that you're a good God and you love me. I just want you to say that to him tonight in your own way. Take a moment. I'm gonna 
to sing of the goodness of God. Let's proclaim that one more time. I say that in choir rehearsal. In fact, a few of my choir members are here tonight. Thank you all for being in the audience. And we have a, another guest. Uh, usually, for those who, and I haven't mentioned this in a while, this is usually the time in a normal year that our choir is rehearsing. We meet at 7 every Wednesday night, and hopefully we can do that soon. We're working on a plan for that. Come back together to sing together, to worship together, to help lead our congregation. So it's, a, it's, it's really uh, wonderful to be able to broadcast right here from the chapel where we rehearse in wonderful space. I, if you haven't come to Riverbend or ever seen it, you need to come see the Riverbend Chapel and just meditate in here a little while. It's an amazing place. But tonight, I want to just share, each week now, I'm going to be sharing a different psalm. You know, David uh, wrote the psalms, and there's a lot of psalms, you know. And, and there's so many of these that David's heart was poured out to God in a moment of pain, in a moment of anguish, if you've ever read the Psalms, if not, I suggest that you start reading that this week. Just pick up and read one a week or one a day or whatever you're comfortable with and start studying these because really they're prayers of David that were actually sung during biblical times by the church at that time and lifted up. And many of them are just anguishing prayers and some of them are just worshiping God and so we're going to share different psalms each week and if you have a favorite let us know and, and we'll be trying to share those each week and encourage you with these and this one tonight uh, is Psalm 18 and it says this I love you Lord my strength the Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer my God, my mountain, where I seek refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation and my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise. And I was saved from my enemies. The ropes of death were wrapped around me. The torrents of destruction terrified me. The ropes of Sheol, and for those who don't know what that is, that's hell. The ropes of hell entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. But I called to the Lord in my distress, and I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. I'm so thankful that when I cry out to God, I know this reaching his ears. He's hearing. He cares for each and every one of you. And I want you to let the words of that scripture and these songs just uh, allow you to worship him and give him glory tonight. And just like the beginning of that song, we're going to sing this old chorus. I love you, Lord. Let's worship him and give him his rightful place in our life. I love 
wonderful God we serve. And I know it's hard sometimes in the middle of all this to give praise to God and to be, have a thankful heart. But remind yourself when you're going through that, that he did come and he suffered every possible thing that we could ever suffer to the point of God sent him to die for us, for each and every individual, each and every one of you that's watching, each and every one in the room. He did it all for you. And uh, so that's why I, I love this old hymn of our faith because it says what he did and it tells the story. And I want you to think with me back to what he did for us as we sing, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Let's worship our Christ tonight. Oh 
about these great hymns of our faith is the lyrics are so, so poignant and so powerful for any time of our lives in the past, now, uh, forever. Hopefully we'll be singing these hymns. So all of you out there that are worship leaders now, the Bible does say, like I said at the beginning, worship him with what? Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, which I sort of know includes all the new worship songs that are being written today. So you can do it all. Don't leave out any of this because it's all necessary to build our faith. And God inspired people in 1800 just like he does in 2020, okay? So those of you who think you've got, and it's all right to be current, you know, and you got to do those too because those writers are great. But these writers that wrote hymns like When I Survey, those are still relevant lyrics to today. So don't throw those out. I encourage you to do that as a worship leader. Okay, everybody know these, knows these two hymns, and I don't want to even announce them, but we're going to sing these and just worship God with these two great hymns, Amazing Grace and Grace Greater Than Our Sin. Has he been good to you?
This is a song that when I first heard this many years ago, actually several years ago, it was considered a modern worship song, but uh, the lyrics of this struck to my heart because uh, as I often share this story, um, both my sister and I, my sister, hello Carla, you're out there watching from Clyde, Texas, in the middle of nowhere. But you know, we were very blessed uh, to be adopted by our parents. Uh, we're from different families. And uh, I was at a conference uh, in California one year, and this song was introduced by Tommy Walker. 
uh, contemporary Christian writer, for those of you who don't know who he is, fantastic songwriter. And uh, I just had to, I, well, I just wept when I heard the first verse of this song. Because, you know, there are times, even though I knew my adoptive parents loved me so much, they were fantastic parents, by the way. My mom and dad have been on to go on to be with God. And I know they're watching each and every week as well. My, my mom and dad loved to sing. They weren't fantastic singers, but they loved to sing and praise God. And they taught me to do that. Probably wouldn't be where I am today without them. So I'm very thankful for them. But, you know, there are those times you wonder, well, where did I come from? Who was this? You know, I, I'm sort of unknown. I don't know who my birth parents were. I don't, still don't know to this day. I haven't been one of those that just, I've got to find out. Because I know God gave me parents that adopted me that made me be what I am today. And I know that was in his will. But when I got in those sort of moments, anyway, when this song came on, it, it, and listen to the lyrics, and I'll sing it for you in a minute, but it says, I have a maker. He formed my heart. Before even time began, my life was in his hand. And he knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me when I call. And that encouraged me. You know, you sort of get lost sometimes. And, you say, and then this song always brings me back. And I want you to know tonight that whatever you're going through, whatever your circumstance is with your family, you might have the same issue. Or different, everybody's got different issues. But I want you to know that we serve a personal God who knows your name. He knows each and every. He says he, he even knows the number of hairs on our head. And that's, that's a pretty amazing God. He knows every sparrow that falls. His eyes on the sparrow. That's another great song we've done before. But he knows each and every one of us. And not only does he know us, he cares. And he's there, as we said earlier. He's there when we cry out. He hears us. He knows our name. So tonight... I want you to know he knows your name and rest in that and know he made you, he loves you, he cares for you.
knows your name. Remember that this week, whatever you're going through, and not only this week, but every day of your life. He knows your name. He cares about you. I do want to thank you again for uh, tuning in to the hymn sing. It's always great to bring these great songs and hymns to you. And we'll continue next week. And uh, hopefully you'll tune in. And, and I hope that you're watching our live stream services each Sunday at 9.30 a.m. We live stream our celebration service. And our Resonate service, led by Casey McPherson, is streamed at 11 o'clock a.m. And we have open so that if you're willing to come out and ready to come out to live church, we want to welcome you and invite you to come. We've got plenty of space. We've got a building that holds like 3,000 people. And we've been having less than 200. So we're spread out. So I think there's room for you if you'd like to come. We'd love to have you. And it's so much better as a worship leader. I know Casey and I have talked about it, to have real people there, even though we knew you were behind the camera watching us, and that's fine. For those of you who want to do that, we're going to continue to do that, and we'll always do that. And we found that to be effective. But come and join us. There's nothing like live worship. So we're going to close tonight um, with a version of and... Uh, of, of one of them, probably the most famous hymns of all, It Is Well With My Soul. But I love this new chorus that was written. We'll eventually get to the original chorus, but the verses are exactly the same, and they're so powerful. And this particular hymn, uh, for those who don't know, was written by a man who had lost his entire family uh, uh, to, uh, in, a, in a shipwreck. And he went home and he went back to the spot where they died and he wrote this song. And so he was going through, I know a lot of great songs, a lot of hymns were written in hard times. And so think of the lyrics and I hope this will be a comfort to you as we close tonight. It is well with my soul.
is the day when my face shall be sighed. The clouds be rolled back as a scroll. The trump shall resound and the Lord shall for getting us through each day and that we have our health. Take care and we'll see you next week. God bless you.